talk about scanning with GradeCam. So the very first thing you want to do uh, is go to downloads.gradecam.com and work through the process on this page. Now it will check your browser automatically just for you and check that off when it finds that it is supported. And once it's done, you're going to have to install GradeCam yourself. So you'll click on the blue download button, then you'll go find that file in your downloads folder and run it. And once it's installed, you will know because you'll get this little button right here. Don't press that. It takes you somewhere weird. Um, once you have finished install, you'll select your camera. That's what makes your beautiful image show up right here. Just make sure that that's what you are expecting to see based on the camera you want to use. When you're done, looks good. Now you can try scanning. You just want to pick um, a scan sheet that you think should scan correctly and hold it up. And if it can read it, it will check off just like that one did right here. And you know that you are ready to scan in Master Connect. Now we're not going to cover this part in this video, step five. So we're going to go now to Master Connect and do the rest. All right, so now we're back in Master Connect. We're ready to scan our assessments. We want to go to the assessment page and I got here by going to the tracker and then locating the objective that I assessed and clicking on assess. Uh, you will be familiar with this page probably from our little assessment card that has the test ID on it. So that's where we are and we're ready to scan. Now, if we had multiple assessments on this page, we want to hover over the title of the assessment and choose scan scores. We don't, so it is okay that I come over here and just click grade cam. I'm going to enable the camera and once that is showing up, I can start scanning. I'm just going to hold up a paper in front of my camera and when it sees it um, it will give me a message now this says it needs some help um, so it's giving me some feedback here on why it can't read that one so i'm just going to try again and see if i can get a different one to read my lighting in here is terrible okay that one read perfectly fine all right so it will give you a little um, suggestion if it can't read it at all um, here's one that has some problems, uh, like double bubbles and erasures. This is what happens. It's going to ask you for clarification. So you'll go um, indicate what the student intended and then click update and save, and it will put that score in the tracker. So as you scan these in, the scores go right in the tracker here. Uh, there's another option for scanning. You can do this button right here, which is student view. What this is going to do is it's going to cover up all of the student data over on this side so that you could scan uh, one thing in at a time and let the student see their own results. Now, of course, if Luna was up here and we didn't want the next student to see her results, we would click next student, wipes everything off. This isn't a bad place to scan just for you personally because um, What's nice about this is that it gives you a little bit bigger camera to work with. Okay. Um, if let's go ahead and close out of that. If you have your camera flipped or something like that, you can go to uh, the settings here and there's a flip image box so you can fix that issue. And if you have any other trouble scanning, you don't know why your document isn't scanning, click on the question mark here because it has a lot of really good troubleshooting tips for you to help you out. Now, um, one thing that I did see earlier this year was a black screen showing up uh, here instead of the correct image from the camera. And in that case, there's two possible fixes that we know of. Number one is to uninstall and reinstall the plugin. Number two is to go to your Chrome settings and search. Let's see, I'm going to go to settings and just search for hardware. And then where you see use hardware acceleration when available, turn that off. And sometimes that will help uh, make this camera image show up correctly. Okay, that's all there is to scanning in. All of your scores go straight into your tracker and you are ready to uh, evaluate the results.